Do presidential job approval ratings matter? Do they have any impact on a president's chances of re-election? The truth might surprise you. Now, you have to understand that a poll is really a snapshot in time. It's of, of how voters are feeling at that particular time. And we know that polls go up and down all the time. And sometimes a president can have really high approval ratings, high job approval ratings, and later lose re-election. Voters oftentimes say one thing to pollsters at one particular time, only to go back later and change their minds. So the truth is, polls can be unreliable. Presidential job approval ratings don't matter, except in an election year. Then they matter. Then all of a sudden, campaigns take them seriously. The Gallup organization says that election year polling of a president's job approval ratings are directly tied to their re-election chances. Now, Gallup does a lot of polling. There's two particular times in the election year that are important. In June, they poll five months outside the election, and then they poll right before the election, late October, early November, just as voters are getting ready to go to the polls and vote. Here is what the Gallup organization has found out regarding presidential job approval ratings and a president's chances at re-election. There appears to be patterns that they've discovered. And really, these are facts that are undisputable. Number one, all incumbent presidents with an average job approval rating of 50% or higher win. They must always win. Uh, take, for instance, in 1984, Ronald Reagan and his big victory. Second statement. It's just the opposite. Incumbent presidents with an average job approval rating of much lower than 50% lose almost all the time. And one example of that would be in 1992 with George W. Bush and his 34% job approval rating. So here's a look at the data, the polling that Gallup has done from 1948 to 2020, showing a connection between presidential job approval ratings in an election year and their chances at re-election. And if you take a look at this, this, this graph, you see that there are a good number of candidates who have won who had job approval ratings of over 50%. In 1956, there was Eisenhower. In 64, Lyndon Johnson. In 72, Nixon. In 1984, Reagan. In 1996, Clinton, and in 2004, George W. Bush. But we've also had a good number of incumbents lose re-election with their job approval rating of under 50%. So the big question you're probably wondering is, what has been President Biden's job approval rating the last four years? Well, in 2021, he had his highest job approval rating at 57%, the first year of his presidency, uh, the year that we were still coming out of COVID and dealing with COVID. Then he hit his lowest in 2023 at 37%. Now, we use the term underwater. If, if a candidate's job approval ratings are underwater, they are under 50%. And President Biden's job approval ratings have been underwater since August of 2021, some seven months into office. He's been below 50% and he's never recovered. So President Biden's job approval rating the last four years has averaged at 43%. Now, Donald Trump's average in his four years was 41%. His highest was in 2020, only at 49%. And then in 2017, he hit his lowest at 35%. But he averaged at 41%. And we know that he ended up losing that election because he wasn't able to get over the 50% threshold. The other big question is, can a president make up ground? Can they close the gap between October and November? Now, the answer is yes. Anything's possible. But historically, job approval ratings have not changed much, and they don't change much between June 
and the November election. And on average, they've only changed anywhere from 3 to 4% at best. In 1948, Gallup polled Harry Truman, uh, voters uh, in 1948 over Harry Truman's job approval rating, and in June, he only had a 40% job approval rating. Now, Gallup did not poll in October or November of that year, and many people wrote Truman off. They said he was going to lose to Dewey, and he was going to lose to to him bad, and we know that Truman set out on his famous whistle stop tour across the country, his 11th hour campaigning, and we know he came back and, and beat Dewey and had that famous picture where he holds up the newspaper that says Dewey beats Truman. Well, in 2020, Trump made up seven points. In June, he had a 37, a 38% job approval rating, and by election time, he bumped that up to 46%. But once again, he wasn't able to get over the 50% threshold, and he ended up losing in 2020. And then in 2012, President Obama made up six points. He was polling at 46% in June, and by election time, he had hit 52%. But he had, he's over the 50% threshold. So, as you can see, Biden's re-election chances don't look good. A lot would have to happen between now and November in order to get those job approval ratings up. So, the big question, do presidential job approval ratings matter? They do matter in an election year, and they're directly tied to a president's chances of re-election in a big way. Now, if you like what you watched today and you felt like you got some value from it, hit the like button for us. And if you haven't joined our Prez Politics family yet, now's the time to hit the subscribe button. And do us one more favor, share our videos with your friends and family across your social media platforms and help us get the word out about our channel, Prez Politics, and everything that we're trying to help you learn. Thanks so much for watching. Check out some of the other uploads we have on our channel.